Messianism is the belief in the advent of a Messiah who acts as the savior or liberator of a group of people. Religions with a Messiah concept include Zoroastrianism Judaism the Mashiach, Buddhism Maitreya, Hinduism Kalki, Taoism Li Hong, and Babism he whom God shall make manifest. In Judaism, the Messiah will be a future Jewish king from the line of David and redeemer of the Jewish people and humanity. In Christianity Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior and Redeemer. In Islam, Jesus was a prophet and the Messiah of the Jewish people. <inaudible> Abrahamic religions <inaudible> Judaism Messiah Hebrew, MSI Mashiach, Moshiach, Moshiach, or Moshiach, anointed one, is a term used in the Hebrew Bible to describe priests and kings, who were traditionally anointed. For example, Cyrus the Great, the king of Persia, is referred to as God's anointed Messiah in the Bible. In Jewish messianic tradition and eschatology, the term came to refer to a future Jewish king from the Davidic line, who will be anointed with holy anointing oil and rule the Jewish people during the Messianic age. In Standard Hebrew, the Messiah is often referred to as Melich Hamishich, Milk Hesai literally, the anointed king. Rabbinic Judaism and current Orthodox Judaism hold that the Messiah will be an anointed one, descended from his father through the Davidic line of King David, who will gather the Jews back into the land of Israel and usher in an era of peace. Orthodox Jewish messianic movements have occasionally emerged throughout the centuries among Jewish communities worldwide. These surround various messiah claimants. However, the claimants failed to deliver the promises of redemption, and generally remained with only a handful of followers. The most popular messiah claimants were Simon bar Kokhba in 2nd century Judea, Nehemiah ben Hushiel in the 7th century Sasanian Empire, Sabbatai Zevi in the 17th century Ottoman Empire precursor to Sabbateans, Jacob Frank in 18th century Europe, Shukur Kuhail I and Judah ben Shalom in 19th century Ottoman Yemen. There are those who currently identify the 20th century Menachem Mendel Schneerson the Lubavitcher Rebbe as the Mashiach. Other denominations, such as Reform Judaism, believe in a messianic age when the world will be at peace, but do not agree that there will be a messiah as the leader of this era. The Jewish messiah concept archetypically predates forms found in Christianity originally a Jewish sect and Islam. Christianity In Christianity, the Messiah is called the Christ, Greek, Christos translate. Christos, lit. Anointed One, Hebrew, Messiah translate. Messiah, lit. Mashiach, the Savior and Redeemer who would bring salvation to the Jewish people and mankind. Christ is the Greek translation of Messiah, meaning anointed one. The role of the Christ, the Messiah in Christianity, originated from the concept of the Messiah in Judaism. Though the conceptions of the Messiah in each religion are similar, for the most part they are distinct from one another due to the split of early Christianity and Judaism in the first century. Christians believe Jesus to be the Jewish Messiah Christ of the Hebrew Bible and the Christian Old Testament. Christians believe that the Messianic prophecies were fulfilled in his mission, death, resurrection, and ascension to his session on the heavenly throne, where he sat down at the right hand of God, where he is now waiting until his enemies are made a footstool for his feet. Heb 10:12-13 Net, quoting the Davidic Royal Psalm chapter 110, verse 1. Christians believe that the rest of the messianic prophecies will be fulfilled in the second coming of Christ. One prophecy, distinctive in both the Jewish and Christian concept of the Messiah, is that a Jewish king from the Davidic line, who will be anointed with holy anointing oil, will be king of God's kingdom on earth, and rule the Jewish people and mankind during the messianic age and world to come. Islam In Islam, Isa ibn Maryam, al-Masi, Jesus son of Mary, the Messiah, is believed to have been anointed from birth by Allah with the specific task of being a prophet and a king. 
In Islam, the Mahdi is believed to hold the task of establishing the truth and fighting against divisions of Islam, uniting all sects before the return of Jesus who will kill the false messiah al-Masih ad-Dajjal similar to the Antichrist in Christianity, who will emerge shortly before him in human form in the end of the times, claiming that he is the messiah. Then Jesus will pray for the death of Gog and Magog Yajuj Majuj, who are an ancient tribe sealed away from humanity who will rise to cause destruction. After he has destroyed al-Dajjal, Mahdi's final task will be to become a just king and to re-establish justice. After the death of Mahdi, Jesus' reign of the messianic king will begin bringing eternal peace and monotheism in the world ending all religions besides Islam. Sahih al-Bukhari, 343, 656, narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Apostle said, the hour will not be established until the Son of Mary i.e. Jesus descends amongst you as a just ruler, he will break the cross, kill the pigs, and abolish the jizya tax. Money will be in abundance so that nobody will accept it as charitable gifts." The Ahmadiyya Muslim community believes that the prophecies regarding the advent of the Messiah and Mahdi have been fulfilled in the person of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan. He claimed to be the promised Messiah and Mahdi, the metaphorical second coming of Jesus of Nazareth and the Divine Guide, whose advent was foretold by the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad. Other religions Buddhism <inaudible> 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 Maitreya is a bodhisattva who in the Buddhist tradition is to appear on earth, achieve complete enlightenment, and teach the pure dharma. According to scriptures, Maitreya will be a successor of the historic Sakamuni Buddha, the founder of Buddhism. The prophecy of the arrival of Maitreya is found in the canonical literature of all Buddhist sects Theravada, Mahayana, Vajrayana and is accepted by most Buddhists as a statement about an actual event that will take place in the distant future. Although Maitreya Buddha appears in the canonical literature shared by many sects of Buddhism, Buddhists in different historical contexts have conceived of Maitreya Buddha in different ways. In early medieval Chinese Buddhism, for example, Taoist and Buddhist ideas combined to produce a particular emphasis on the messianic role of a bodhisattva called Prince Moonlight. Furthermore, the Chinese Maitrian traditions were themselves marked by considerable diversity. Eric Zerker has argued that a certain canonical Maitrian cult from the 4th to 6th centuries believed Maitreya to inhabit the Tushita heaven where Buddhists might be reborn in the very distant future. Another rival tradition, however, believed that Maitreya would appear in the imminent future in this world to provide salvation during a time of misery and decline. This latter form of Maitrian belief was generally censored and condemned as heretical to the point that few manuscripts survive written by Buddhists sympathetic to this tradition. Maitreya Buddha continued to be an important figure in millenarian rebellions throughout Chinese history, such as in the rebellions associated with the so called White Lotus Society. <laughs> Cargo cults Some cargo cults believe in a messiah figure called John Frum. When David Attenborough asked one of its adherents if it was rational for them to be still waiting for Frum to reappear after 50 years, he was told that Christianity had been waiting 2,000 years, so waiting for Frum was much more rational. <laughs> Hinduism In Hinduism, Kalki Devanagari, Kalki also rendered by some as Kalkan and Kalaki is the tenth and final Maha Avatara great incarnation of Vishnu who will come to end the present age of darkness and destruction known as Kali Yuga. The origins of the name probably lie in the Sanskrit word, Kalka, which refers to dirt, filth, or foulness and hence denotes the destroyer of foulness, destroyer of confusion, destroyer of darkness or annihilator of ignorance. <inaudible> Russian and Slavic messianism Romantic Slavic messianism held that the Slavs, especially the Russians, suffer in order that other European nations, and eventually all of humanity, may be redeemed. 
This theme had a profound impact in the development of pan-slavism and Russian and Soviet imperialism. It also appears in works by the Polish Romantic poets Zygmunt Krasinski and Adam Mickiewicz, including the latter's familiar expression, Polska Chrystusem Narodow. Poland is the Christ of the nations. Messianic ideas appear in the Books of the Genesis of the Ukrainian People. Brotherhood of Saints Cyril and Methodius Manifesto, in which universal equality and democracy in the Zaporizhian Sich, recognized as a revival of human society initially planned by God and faith in its future revival, associated with faith in the death and resurrection of Christ. Reborn Ukraine will expand universal freedom and faith in all Slavic countries and thus designed by God ideal society will be restored. Taoism Around the 3rd century CE, religious Taoism developed eschatological ideas. A number of scriptures predict the end of the world cycle, the deluge, epidemics, and coming of the savior Li Hong Li Hong not to be confused with the Tang personalities. Zoroastrianism According to Zoroastrian philosophy, redacted in the Zandai Vohuman Yasht, at the end of thy tenth hundredth winter, the sun is more unseen and more spotted, the year, month, and day are shorter, and the earth is more barren, and the crop will not yield the seed, and men become more deceitful and more given to vile practices. They have no gratitude, honorable wealth will all proceed to those of perverted faith, and a dark cloud makes the whole sky night and it will rain more noxious creatures than winter. Saushayant, the man of peace, battles the forces of evil. The events of the final renovation are described in the Bundahishkan 30.1 ff. In the final battle with evil, the Yazatas Aryaman and Ader will melt the metal in the hills and mountains, and it will be upon the earth like a river Bundahishkan 34.18, but the righteous Ashavan will not be harmed. Eventually, Ahura Mazda will triumph, and his agent Saushayant will resurrect the dead, whose bodies will be restored to eternal perfection, and whose souls will be cleansed and reunited with God. Time will then end, and truth, righteousness Asha, and immortality will thereafter be everlasting. See also Apocalypse Christ of Europe End time Fifth Empire Maitreya Share International Messiah Complex Millennialism Kiyama Sebastianism Notes <laughs>